Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I've gotten a lot of questions about game development. I'm going to try to answer some of those questions. Of course, you know, if you know my background, I started out really wanting to, to become a game developer. That's why I really became a programmer in the, in the first place. I've got, if you want to hear my kind of history, I've got a video here that, that's tar three parts so far, a series of, of my, my history through my career and how I started off you know, wanting to do game development. But anyway, so I get a lot of questions about whether it's viable. So I got this question. And it says, uh, hi, John. How's it going? I'm a 19-year-old college student, and I'm interested in the gaming industry, mostly in programming. I've been doing some basic tutorials for different game engines and languages, and I'm not really sure what to do about school. I've been doubting that a degree would be good for me. I recently found Block.io, and it looks interesting. The Android developer option looks cool, and it's shorter and less expensive than others. There seems to be lots of boot camps for web development in software engineering, but none for game development, like working on a PC or console games, either making your own or working with other people. Do you, do you have any advice? Is software engineering and web development a good thing to look into, even though it doesn't seem as interesting to me right now? Thanks for your time. So this is sort of a, a tough one, right? I mean, game development is, is difficult to get into. Why? Because everyone wants to get into game development. I mean, who wouldn't want to, you know, the only thing I can think of that would be more difficult to get into besides game development and certain industries, adult industries that we won't name here, would probably be, would be game testing. <laughs> who, who wouldn't want to test games, right? But a game developer, you know, it, it's, it's definitely difficult to break into. But you can do it, and you can go to school for it. So I'll give you two schools that I always wanted to attend. One of them, and I don't know a lot about these schools, but I heard of them, and they're game development schools specifically. One of them is DigiPen, so check that one out. And the other one is here in near me in Orlando called Full Sail University, and I've heard of them. I've heard really good things. In fact, just a few years ago, I was tempted to go get a degree from there just because I wanted to go to the school because it seemed like it would be cool. So. I don't know of any boot camps that would actually do game development, and I don't know if you really want to. I think you know if you wanted. I think game development is in depth enough, and that you need enough connections that you probably want to go to school to do that. You know, there's a lot of things that I don't recommend schooling for, but this seems like one of them, just primarily because of the connections and just the in depth amount of topics that are going to be difficult for you to learn on your own. Now, that doesn't mean you can't be self taught, right? I taught myself how to develop games. Of course, I'm not an expert, but and I've I've taught other people how to develop games, right? I, I did some Pluralsight courses. You can check them out here on. on game development. You can you can watch mine if you want as well. But it's simple stuff. It's not very complicated stuff. If you want to do complicated 3D stuff and rendering and you want to get the full gamut of not just doing game development but the art and design and stuff like that, you probably need a more formal training in that or, or you need to really focus and figure out what, what you could teach yourself on. So now let's get into the question of should you do web development or game development? Like is game development actually viable? It's viable, but it's going to take a lot of work. You better be ready to fight and compete and be the best of the best if you're going to if you're going to make it there. If you just sort of want to get a job with game development, just get a job doing web development and develop your own games on the side because that's going to be better. You're going to definitely be able to get a job there and make some money. So you got to kind of decide for yourself whether it's worth it. And and it might not even be worth it pay-wise. Again, a lot of opportunities where people want to do the opportunity, it doesn't pay as well as as the other things. You might make a lot more money doing web Web development, right? And in, in game development, you might like m make less money and work a whole lot more hours. I know a lot of game developers for some of the big studios work ridiculous hours, but they like it, but they enjoy it. They don't care that they're getting paid left, less because they're doing what they really, really want to do. So you're going to have to make that decision. You know, I do think it is viable. I think that you can make it in that industry, but I think there's a lot of competition and you're going to have to really, really focus on it. It's not going to just fall into your lap, whereas I'm not saying web development would, but it's going to be a lot easier for you to get in there. There's going to be a lot more opportunities. Uh, the other option I would give you is you could do independent game development. You know, Today, you, there, there's a lot of developers that make money as, as indie game developers. You, you can self-teach yourself and you don't have to get into the complex 3D stuff. I know that you can develop iOS or Android games and or you can develop 
develop games and, and sell them on some of the indie platforms. Probably not going to make a lot of money doing that unless you have a runaway hit. It's, it's very competitive, but that's, that's an option. And you can always do that as a part-time thing as well and, and see. Maybe you get your regular job as a web developer right now, and then you start doing indie development part-time, and then maybe if that business does well, you can transition into doing that full-time. I know plenty of people who have done that. So the key thing, though, is think about it. Make your choices up front. Decide what, you, what your future is, what you want your goal to be, and then start moving in that direction. If it's professional game development for a big studio, it's probably going to be going to somewhere like Full Sail University or DigiPen. If it's independent, then you could you can live on macaroni and cheese and try and make it and, and see what you could do. Or you could do the web development and do the independent on the side. If it's, I just want to make money and just, just program game development would be nice, then just go with the, the, the easier route and, and become a web developer or, or whatever. You know, don't, don't specialize in game development and just do it as a hobby. So anyway, uh, great question. I know that there are a lot of you out there that are, are curious about game development. I hope to do some more videos on that topic. Let me know, you know, thumbs up and leave some comments if you'd like to hear more topics on game development in general, or if you'd like me to interview someone who does games, uh, I think that might be pretty cool. So anyway, you can email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And if you like this video, subscribe.